drop off Maddie at the soccer game. Then I'll drop off Kristen at Valerie's apartment. Then I'll get Maddie after her soccer game. We'll scoop you up, Kristen, bring you both back home. I'm gonna be showing houses for the rest of the day. <sighs> that sounds like a nice little Saturday. Tell them how you're spending your Saturdays, Kristen. My mom thinks I can get into Princeton. Boring. <laughs> what are we going into tonight? makes all your worries and all your problems just disappear. Good new product, baby. Lucifer, laced with fentanyl. To all your friends. There's a snow in the forecast. We're all good little snow babies. Boss girls? Four dimes, a die hard nine. One bad pop can put you in the ground. Kristen, are you okay? Because you haven't been yourself. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look Features, and joining me today is Katie Kelly and Paula Andino, stars of the new movie Snow Babies. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm, I'm so happy to be talking to you two. I absolutely loved your performances in this movie. So the film deals with opioid crisis and addiction, and without giving any spoilers away, you two had to go to some pretty dark places in this film. So how did you prepare for these roles? Katie, let's start with you. Being attached to Snow Babies, you know, there was so much research that went into creating this film. Especially as a young actress, you know, it was really important to me that I was able to do justice for this role because this is the reality of so many people. And it was really important to me that it looked organic and authentic. And so Paula and I together actually did research um, because we were friends before we started filming, which was super amazing for us and our chemistry on, on set. And um, it just a lots of hours of research and reading. And we also, I had the opportunity to, to chat with some addicts who are in recovery and that really helped me get in the mindset of an addict and learn, you know, the shame and self-loathing that comes along with having addiction. And so I think at the end of the day, it was really just down to the research is what really got me prepared to play Kristen. Yeah, I want to say I completely agree with that. Also, thank you so much. We're so happy that you really enjoyed the film. That means a lot to us. Um, but yeah, as well as the research, I think so much trust between our director, Bridget, Katie and myself, all of us were willing to go to those really dark places with each other. So I think that the fact that we had such a safe space and a set to just like play with and really explore was such a gift for us. I understand also that Better Noise Entertainment partnered with the Global Recovery Initiatives Foundation uh, to raise funds to benefit struggling communities. What can you girls tell me about that? Ooh, the GRI is such an amazing, amazing organization. We absolutely love the GRI. And more recently, the Amy Winehouse Foundation has also teamed up with us. So that's super incredible. We're so, so excited to be partnered up with them. And um, the GRI really focuses on recovery. That's their main goal, their main mission. And they also focus on removing the stigma of seeking help. Um, because obviously when someone seeks help, it is imperative that they get the support they need in order to stay clean. And recovery programs are extremely underfunded. And so the GRI's main goal is focusing on funding those programs, on getting people help, on getting people on track to recovery and giving them support to stay clean. Yeah, absolutely. You said it so well, Katie. <laughs> I think that, yeah, no, that's, that's perfect. I, I don't really have much to add, but I, I do want to reiterate that recovery is something that's so misunderstood and so underfunded, but it's the only way that people can get the help that they need. So it's amazing that GRI supports recovery programs and that's why we want to raise awareness for them. And then the fact that they're helping us out as well is just incredible. The release of your movie is so timely. So I want to know now that you have both, you know, dived into these roles, um, what would you tell people who are watching this, people who are struggling with addiction, what kind of advice would you give them? I definitely hope that people who need to be affected by this movie, you know, can see this movie. And I think that it's possible that people will be able to see themselves and pieces of our character. And I hope that really resonates with people. And, you know, recovery is possible. Addiction is a disease and it's a very long and hard road to recovery, but it's definitely possible. And it is beyond rewarding when you seek recovery and when you are in active recovery. And then to add to that, one of the other messages with Snow Babies that we really, really want to ride home is that addiction does not discriminate. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you come from, the income that you have, how old you are necessarily, this is something that could affect you. So it should be taken seriously, these difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. 
should be had. So it's important that we open the door so so they happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I feel like a lot of times too, when people think of an addict, it's like a very specific picture in their head. You know, they think of like, I'm sure when I say an, a heroin addict, every single person immediately pulls up a mental image of what that looks like when that really could not be further from the truth. I mean, in this film, Kristen and Hannah, they're your regular everyday college bound, fun loving girls who just get wrapped up in an addiction because of a series of unfortunate events. And I think that it's really important that people see this so that, like Paula said, we can start these open dialogues. We can have these conversations because they are uncomfortable, but they are important. Mm -hmm. They need to be had, absolutely. So uh, lastly, I wanna know what it meant to both of you to portray these characters. Uh, it was so special, so just beyond. It was such a rewarding, honestly, life-changing experience. And I don't mean that lightly. As an actress, it was a stretch, it was challenging. And then as a person, it was so eye-opening as well because there was so much research that went into this. And, uh, into this. and then I realized that this is something that isn't talked about enough, but it was a beautiful experience and I'm just so honored to have been able to be a part of it. Yeah, I, I totally, totally agree with Paula. I think she said it really well. Being a part of a film like this, you know, not only is it a once in a lifetime opportunity, but as an actress, this is a dream type of role for me because not only am I being able to stretch myself as an artist, but I also have the opportunity to help, you know, change lives and save lives. And that's really important to me with my craft is that I'm able to, you know, make a difference with what I do. And, you know, there's no way I would have been able to pull that off without Snow Babies. And so I'm forever grateful for our director, Woody Smith, for taking a chance on me and the, and the writer, Mike Walsh. It was just, like Paula said, such an amazing experience. And I don't think I could ever verbalize how much it meant to me and how much I grew as an actress while living that experience. And being a part of Snow Babies is just an incredible, incredible honor that I'm thankful for every single day. It gives me chills. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> well, I'm thankful for the two of you. You were both phenomenal and I cannot wait for the world to see Snow Babies. Make sure you guys check it out. It's on demand beginning September 29th. I'm Sari Cohen. See you next time. So. Amen. Hands on the wall. We do it! I panicked! <laughs> what happened? Hannah. Believe in hell. Look deep into the eyes of a 16 year old heroin addict. I'm addicted. You need to tell your parents it's time. The fine print in life applies to you, Krista McCusker. When are you going to realize that? When it's too late? It'll be okay.